Finding the perfect home can be a bit more challenging if your top priorities are maximum square footage and keeping to your budget, but you can technically have the best of both worlds, especially if you expand your search beyond the big cities. From the small city of Kalamazoo, Missouri, to the low country feel of Georgetown, South Carolina, these properties are located in the under the radar towns and suburbs, and they all came in at less than $300,000. So this is a list of some of the cheapest mansions that for some reason nobody wants to buy. First mansion we're gonna go ahead and talk about is labeled as a beauty with a backstory. This house is located at 1301 South Street in Lexington, Missouri, and this mansion is for sale at $125,000. Located just 45 minutes away from Kansas City, Lexington is one of those places where nearly everything has a historical connection. Proof? The courthouse still has a cannonball from the 1861 Battle of Lexington lodged in its exterior. This expansive nine bedroom, seven bathroom estate was built in 1840, less than two decades after the city was founded. But its stately exterior isn't its most interesting feature. It was once the home of William Bradford Waddle, who founded the Pony Express. While it's a bit of a fixer upper, you'd be hard pressed to find a better place for a 9,000 square foot piece of beautiful history. Also a little bonus, it's just blocks from Main Street's cute shops and cafes. Up next we have a vintage home on the range and it's priced at $299,000. It's located at 2023 South Henderson Boulevard in Texas. This home's unusual design pays homage to Frank Lloyd Wright, and rightly so. An architect who studied with Wright built this house in 1939. With a location just off Highway 259, it offers easy access to a nearby college. This 5,900 square foot home offers four bedrooms on almost six acres with a large terrace overlooking a private pond. Inside, details include the unusual tile work, built-ins, and even modern updates. Up next, we have a magnificent manor located in Scranton, Pennsylvania. This is actually one of the highest priced houses at $300,000, but once you see this place, I think you'll understand why. If you ever wanted an old mansion to call your own, go to Pennsylvania's sixth largest city. That's where you can find a 7,840 square foot property, rightly nicknamed the castle. Restored to its swoon-worthy Tudor revival glory, this nine bedroom, 10 bathroom home is incredible in every way. The exterior details include a charming cobblestone drive, but inside there's stunning molding and woodwork in nearly every room. Details such as stained glass and window seats add to the home's charm. Additional luxuries include a billiards room, a gym, and a three stall carriage house. But when you're ready to venture out, you're just a short drive to the shops, restaurants, and nightlife in downtown Scranton. This country escape that's up next is marketed at $300,000. It's located on Rotterweese Road in Arkansas. This Little Rock, Arkansas suburb has plenty of gorgeous scenery to go around. You can drink it all in on this eight acre estate, which feels more like a resort. After all, there is an in-ground pool, three stone fireplaces, and a wet bar. This 5,300 square foot home's design even caught the attention of Better Homes and Gardens, who once featured the property in its pages. As you can see by a lot of these pictures, it may be a little outdated and need some upgrading, but for a chunk of property like this, I don't think you can really do too much better. Mountain views make a beautiful backdrop for the new Tazewell. Here, you'll get all the perks of small town living, including privacy and plenty of space. The cheaper than city living cost makes it easier to trade up to larger digs, like this elegant four bedroom, six bath, all brick home. Outside, you'll find plenty of curb appeal and a professionally landscaped lawn on more than half an acre. Inside, spanning more than 5,000 square feet, you're gonna find beautiful yet elegantly laid out rooms that may need some upgrading or more up-to-date design, but I'm sure for the price of this home, you're still gonna be very happy with this. It also includes extra rooms like include a rec room with a wet bar and even a large kitchen with double ovens.
Up next, we have a house built in the 1930s. This mansion called Southern Bell is on the market for $279,000. This 6,000 square foot home boasts six bedrooms and five baths. Just a half an hour from Charleston, South Carolina, a suburb of Somerville, it sits on nearly three acres. It's also just down the street from the local elementary school. This house includes original details such as hardwood floors and pine walls in the study, but it has also been updated for more modern taste with a beautiful new kitchen, custom built-ins, and an enormous master suite. And now this estate, also known as the Handsome Home, which is listed on the market for $238,000, Located on Washington Street of Shelbysville, built in the 1900s, this colorful Edwardian home is definitely an eye catcher. It sits within walking distance to Shelbysville historic downtown area and charming town square, and also an easy walk to the farmer's market on Saturdays. But the 7,520 square foot, 17 room home is also filled with architectural details. Inside, Handcrafted woodwork, stained glass, and 10-foot ceilings make a statement. Also, handsome turrets add character. And there's also a third floor that includes a ballroom. Up next, we have the Royal Retreat, which is on sale for $279,000, located in the tiny village of Wild Rose, Wisconsin. The tiny village of Wild Rose is a haven for those who really want to escape the hustle and the bustle of city life. Its population is less than 725 people, but its stunning natural scenery makes the village a destination for anyone who loves the outdoors. There's an abundance of hiking trails, class A trout streams, and snowmobiling routes that only adds to the allure of this nearly 10,000 square foot home that sits on two and a half acres. Once a bed and breakfast, the nine bedroom, seven and a half bath property could be a good place to carry out your own fantasy. Your guests could even learn about the village's history at the Pioneer Museum one block away. Also not to mention the huge barn that it has located on its property that is fully redone on the inside. This home, called the Sportsman's Paradise, is on the market for $299,500, located in Georgetown, South Carolina. This home's biggest draw is its pristine waterfront location, which makes it a haven for fishing, boating, and just plain enjoying life. This traditional style home occupies a half acre cul-de-sac lot and includes 5,400 square foot of living space. You could curl up in comfort in any of the four bedrooms, each with its own bath, but the best feature might be outside. With its prime position on the Black River, the property has its own dock and bulkhead, making it a breeze to get on and off the water. This contemporary cozy, listed for $289,000, located in Kalamazoo, Missouri, is an old school modern home. This custom built 5,374 square foot home occupies a half acre lot. Inside, the spacious kitchen includes a desk, breakfast bar, and an eating area. Walls of windows flood the home with natural light. The bedrooms are spread over two floors with two roomy main floor bedrooms and an upper level master suite. Plus, the home is a short drive from the shopping, nightlife, and restaurants along the South Westnage Avenue and downtown Kalamazoo. Also, definitely something to check out on this house is the massive library. Like, it's really big. I also want to go ahead and just continue to show you shots of this home because this is probably my favorite. So, go ahead and enjoy these clips. All right, everyone, that's gonna pretty much wrap this video up. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click the like button down below. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my second channel and follow all my social media. You can message me on there, say what's up, do whatever, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Without rambling on for so long, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.